Hello friends, in this video, I will show you how to use allegation and mixture concept in interest related problems. Let us assume a person invested some amount in fixed deposit fixed deposit which guarantees him 10 percentage of interest okay a person invested certain amount in fixed deposit which guaranteed him 10 percent of interest per year and he invested a remaining amount in shares which guarantees him 16 percentage of interest annually okay if he gains 12 percentage of interest from both investment from both investments find the ratio in which the amount invested in fixed deposits and shares so we have to find the amount deposited or invested in fixed deposit and share we have to find the ratio so ratio of the amount invested in fixed deposit and shares okay so to find the ratio of fixed deposit and shares so from fixed deposit he are getting 10 percentage okay from his shares he is getting 16 percentage from both the investment he is getting 12 percentage so this is fd and this is shares so now the ratio we will find 16 minus 12 using the allegation concept so that is 4 and 12 minus 2 12 minus 10 that is 2 so that is going to be 2 is 1 ok so invested is among 2 parts in FD and 1 part in share so that he is getting 12% investment from both the interest 12% interest from both the investment so Allegation and mixture concept can also be used in interest related problem. So once again I will repeat this question. A person invested certain amount in fixed deposit which guarantees him 10% of interest and remaining amount he invested in shares that guarantees him 16% return. From both the investment he is getting 12% of interest. Now find the ratio of the amount he invested in fixed deposit and shares. So that we will get fixed deposit and shares ratio. So in FD he is getting 10% of interest, in shares he is getting 16% of interest. So from both the investors he is getting 12% interest. So 16 minus 12 that is 4, 12 minus 10 that is 2. So 4 is 2 that is equal to 2 is 1. So he invested the amount in FD and shares in the ratio 2 is 1. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel.